Okay, as you can see here, this is all supposed to have like some kind of like dark paint and it's all faded and completely missing for the majority of it. You can actually see right through the lens and see it up top. Uh, you can see where some of the paint was there and is not there anymore. Come on. There we go. Yep. These are original Ford lenses, as you can see. So all that paint's gone, so we're gonna go ahead and restore all these things. I'm gonna hit it with some Scotch Bright, some promotion uh, adhesion promoter, and then some paint. This is the other one. This one's not as bad as the other side. As you can see, spots here fading, completely gone up top. Pretty good on this side. Pretty good through here, but. Yeah, you can see there. Okay. And it's not much of a job to take these out. Took about three minutes. 11 millimeter ratcheting wrench and a 11 millimeter socket. Alright, let's go and get to work on scotch brighting. And then we'll get some paint on these things. But prep work is not fun. So just spent some time taping up and plasticking up the lens where the light actually comes through. That thing looks pretty well sealed. Meticulous taping. I'm not going for perfection, but I'm going to make these things look much better. All right, I'm going to go ahead and start with one side. I'll get it ready for some paint. And then we'll work on the side. What I'm looking for here is just to kind of get like a matte finish on everything. I don't want anything shiny because that means the paint's probably not going to stick. So I went ahead and hit it with some Scotch Bright, some probably medium grade Scotch Bright. As you can see, the outer housing of the lens is starting to look a little more grayish, which is good. And pretty much hit everything. As you guys can see, it's more of a matte finish now. And trying to get down inside these crevices and everything can be a little bit tedious, but if you want your paint job to look good, you gotta make sure that you sand properly. So this one's pretty good. I might hit it one more time before I hit it with some more denatured alcohol to clean it. And then we'll hit it with some adhesion promoter. And I'll see you guys after the first coat of paint. Just kinda dusted it over make sure that everything was going to stick and it looks like it's sticking pretty good nothing's bubbling up or anything so all in the prep doing that little tedious sand work pays off so there's going to be on this coat of course some dry areas and stuff like that i'm going to let this flash for about 10 minutes before doing another coat and then i think that's all i'm going to need is uh, this first coat actually turned out pretty good I'm using just a satin black. That's all I'm doing. So, all right, let this flash for 10 minutes, get the last coat on, then we'll get to work on the other tail light. This will probably be the last coat. Just needed two coats. Lead on pretty good. It's gonna, it's already starting to flatten out in some areas, which is a good sign. So, we'll let this fully tack up, probably for about a half hour or so, and I'll go ahead and untape it. So that way, when it fully dries, I don't have to worry about the tape pulling away any of the paint. So I'd say this one was a good, was a good one. We'll see how it looks after I untape it, but let's get to work on the other, on the other housing. Well, I am happy. This turned out pretty darn good. Again, it's all in the prep work, guys. Guys and gals, that, uh, yeah, I'm happy. Sorry for some of the glare, but uh, when drying, it laid down pretty darn flat. Got no runs. Just gotta clean the lenses up a little bit. They're a little dirty. But, uh, yeah. So this will look good on the back of the car. Refreshed. 
And it's good, you know, taking a pair of OE lenses and cleaning them up. So, I'm very happy how that turned out. All right, got one more lens to go. And then we'll let them fully dry and I'll reinstall them back on the car. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. I greatly appreciate it. And as you can see, this video is kind of a little bit of a mixed bag of what's going on. We started the video out on actually what we're doing in the project versus an intro, standard intro, outro, doing the work, so on and so forth. Just a little unconventional kind of deal here on nickel and diming because actually this was kind of impromptu because it actually was a nice night out tonight. It's always been extremely hot. Um, it's been extremely humid. Uh, recently, but today's actually a nice night. It's in the uh, high 70s, which is great for paint and it's not too humid out So it's a nice night to be able to have the garage door open do some prep work without sweating all over it and Doing some paint work. So as you can see this one's done. It's uh, fully drying right now Went ahead and untaped it so that way the tape actually didn't try and pull away any of the paint I got the other lens behind me here. It's actually drying the last coat of paint was just put on about 10 minutes ago and I'm happy with how this one turned out. It looks like the other one's going to turn out just as well. It's all in the prep work. That's seriously what it is. And the reason I didn't show you guys any of the work because it had been just pretty much straight up boring. It had just been me taping everything up and then taking a piece of scotch bright and going around every nook and cranny around that lens to make sure that that paint would stick to it. So a good half hour, 45 minutes in prep work. And then, of course, 15 seconds of laying down some paint. That's pretty much all boiled down. Uh, what it boiled down to uh, in regards to the work tonight. Also, um, it doesn't take a lot of work to actually get these out. It literally is like about six nuts, and then of course removing the factory trim and the hatch area, and then you can pull these lenses out. It literally took me three minutes to do all that, and so again, not not a, not a big job, and I only spent about 25, 30 bucks on getting all the materials for this particular job, instead of spending, you know, uh, 150 to 200 dollars in some new tail lights. Of course, these being original and they're not broken, they're not cracked anywhere. I wanted to go ahead and refresh these because they're original Ford lenses. And even though nothing's really original left on this car, uh, minus probably the shell, um, I, I thought it was an interesting time to, an uh, interesting project to take on because it, it doesn't require a lot of work. And so I'd highly recommend, guys, if you have the time to do it. Just go ahead and tackle the project yourself, and it doesn't take a lot of work, but it just takes tedious work getting to all the nooks and crannies with a piece of, a piece of scrot, uh, scotch bright, and also using some good quality paint. And of course, I just use some good old Rust-Oleum paint and primer mix, and some adhesion promoter since it is a plastic unit. Alrighty, so uh, I want to kind of end this video here with a little bit of an apology and kind of what's coming up here shortly. Uh, the Nickel and Diamond series is going to keep going because I'm having a few minor things pop up in the engine bay which I'll cover in the future video of course that needs to be fixed slash replaced slash restore kind of deal and since I'm putting a little bit more effort into the smaller details onto this car go ahead and show you guys that in future videos also work has been extremely busy the performance world has been extremely crazy right now and demand for some of the Anderson stuff is at an all-time high right now and unfortunately uh, fortunately, like I believe this Foxcast Media actually mentioned this in regards to LMR because we're feeling the same thing. Um, demand for a lot of the products for Fox Bodies right now are at an all-time high and manufacturers and stuff that are in different states are having temporary setbacks or delays or the demand so high they can't keep up with the supply and that we fall into that same same thing. So I've been extremely busy trying to you know handle everything at work which leaves little time to be able to tackle little projects here at home or at work as well. So, a little bit of an apology there because I haven't been able to get a lot of content out to you guys. Even though I'm not a big channel, I still like to be able to provide some value out there in the Fox Body world because there's other guys out there that do it and do it better than me. But again, it's stuff that you know you can tackle at home, like something as simple as this. So, we're going to leave it off there. We've got more stuff coming for the Nickel and Dime series, of course. And then, of course, we got more stuff coming for the 2013 Mustang. Actually, I already have products lined up. They've been sitting on a shelf for a while. And I'm hoping to get to that soon here, at least before any bad weather hits. So that way we can show you guys how all that stuff works. Get more stuff on the dyno. Of course, I've got to get a fuel system put into this car so I can get it dialed in. Of course, get uh, dyno numbers on that. Maybe a couple track runs. We'll see. Uh, nothing guaranteed right now with how crazy things are. So, guys, we're going to go ahead and leave off the video right there. Uh, I appreciate all the love and support you guys have been giving me lately. It's been awesome. Thank you so much. 
So guys, if you like my content, please like, please share, and subscribe. Be sure to hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any new content coming to the channel. Take care, and we'll see you in the next video.